me, fill a crack. Stop and watch, please. What good is sitting alone in your room? Come hear the music play. Why? Life is a cabaret, old chum. So come to me, cabaret. <laughs> Put down your knitting, the brush and the broom. It's time for a holiday. Oh, cause life is a cabaret, old chum. So come to my cabaret. Come taste the wine. Come hear the band. I you love? Come blow your horn, start celebrating. Right this way, your stands and space is waiting. What good's permitting this profit of doom? It isn't that long a stay. Why? Because life is a cabaret, old chum. I you love? It's only a cabaret. I'm going to tell you a little story, all right? I used to have this girlfriend known as Elsie. Do you know her? No. With whom I'd shared four swords of the rooms in Chelsea. She wasn't exactly what you'd call a blushing flower. As a matter of fact, she rented by the hour. <laughs> the day she died, the neighbours came to snicker. <gasps> oh, well, that's what comes from too much booze and liquor. But when I saw her, laid out like a queen oh. she was the happiest corpse that i'd ever seen <laughs> oh no but honestly i think of elsie to this day oh me tit the way she turned to me and she used to say <coughs> what good is sitting all alone in your room Come hear the music play. Life is a cabaret, old chum. So come to my cabaret. And as for me, well, as for me, I made my mind up back in Chelsea. What's going on? Ah, me, ne me neither. Me think he's fallen. Anyway, listen, welcome to Light Night 2021. My name's Philip Crack, and I'm going to be your hostess with the most test for the next 30 minutes. We've got a little performance for you outside and indoors. There's loads going on. Me and Emma Toby have been working dead hard lately to bring to you Queen of the City Drag Cabaret. Now, there's a couple of little rules before we start. Keep your distance, number one. Number two, be careful of that one with the funny hat on. She looks dead interesting. <laughs> and number three, I didn't hear that. All of these, you know, all these buskers and people out here, or, you know, people who work and stuff, they've had no work for a year because there's been no audience. Now, this event is free and has been brought to you by Homotopia. We're not taking any money, it's not tickets, but if you've got a spare quid, tick, stick a pound in one of the buskers' things for us, yeah? Agreed. Can we agree to do that? It's just lie on the isn't it? It's raining on one of the busiest nights of the year. I feel bad. Anyway, I'm going to tell you a little story, because this year, I feel like we've made loads of progression. Do you agree? Yeah? A little bit? We've had a bit of movement, haven't we? And we recently found out that Disney have cast the first person of colour to play The Little Mermaid. Isn't that great news? Great news, changing the future we are. But the thing is, I don't think that's good enough. What I want to know is when are the Scouse women going to start playing the lead parts? <laughs> Bet you're dying to know, aren't you? Well, I'll tell you something. 
I wrote to Bloody Walt. And I said to him, hey, Walt, I've wrote a script. Do you want to hear it? I said, do you want to hear it? I said, do you want to hear it? I'm going to tell you the story. <laughs> I've never done this before. I've been in isolation for a year. Here we go. I'm going to tell you the story of the Wizard of Speak. Once upon a time, Liverpool legend Scylla Black was stuck at home in Beetle. She dreamed of a place far, far away called Speak. So she decided one day, I'm going to go to Speak. Oh, it's gone long already. Somewhere over the rainbow, skies are blue, and the dreams that you dare to dream really do come true. Oh. So she decided to call upon her mate Sandra and Chanel to help get to speak, but there was a bit of a situation with Sandra and Chanel. It really was no miracle, what happened was just this. My dog began to bark, my bird took flight. Well, I was just in the back in the toilet having a little, you know what? But then if someone said it's gone to Poodle and it's called Chanel and I was like, oh, where's my bird, Chanel? So she calls her old mate Shirley Ballast to try and help find this bloody Chanel. The only thing is she's dead annoying because she doesn't shut up about singing and dancing, does she? Can I have a round of applause for the silence? Ha ha ha! Ho ho ho! And a couple of lardy jars. That's how we dance the whole day through in the merry old lands of speak. Point your toes, turn your feet, your lines, your lines. Point your toes, turn your feet, your lines, your lines. Then they stumbled across their old mate Chrissy Rocks, but she had really bad constipation. When a man's an empty kettle, he should be on his metal. But yet I'm torn apart. <coughs> Just because I'm presuming that I could be kind of human if I only had a fart. It's absolutely killing me, I'm not lying. I'd be tender, I'd be gentle, and awful sentimental regarding, you know, love and art. Oh, it's killing me. I'd be friends with the sparrows and the boy who shoots the arrows. If I only had a fart, oh, I'm in so much pain. Picture me, a balcony, above a voice sings low. Romeo, Romeo, where for art thou fart? I can feel movement. False alarm. Ah. Oh. That was a shot. And anyway, they come across their old mate, Liverpool legend, the one and only Edwina Curry. Boo, she's not really a scouser. She was just born here, wasn't she? I mean, you know, no one's a scouser if they work for the Tory party. So our lovely queen decided to kill her with the water from the tears of all the poor children that can't afford to eat because of the Tory politics. Do you know what? It's fine, though, because she'll be with the mate, Margaret Thatcher. Who likes Margaret Thatcher? Who likes Margaret Thatcher? No, no one. Well, guess what? Hang on. Let the joyous news be spread. The wicked old witch at last is dead. I didn't put that song in. I didn't put that song in. I didn't put that song in. That's not me. She is though, isn't she? <laughs> I ain't the little witch. <laughs> anyway, they couldn't find this bloody Chanel, so the only thing that they could do was get the biggest, loudest, most annoying person in the whole of Liverpool with the loudest voice. Are you ready? It's me, Philip Crack! <laughs> me bloody rig. Right, so girls and boys, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between, we're going to try and find Chanel. Are you going to help me? 
Are you ready? Everyone ready? Four, three, two, one, Chanel! Let me hear you. Three, two, one, go! Are you ready? Heartbreaks and promises. I've had more than my share. I just got this wig off. I'm tired of giving my love and getting nowhere, nowhere. All I need is somebody who really cares. Come on. Can't put my love on the line, cause I hope you understand. Now, baby, come on. Come on, let's show each other some love. I can't hear ya! <laughs> to say, oh, ah, yeah. You've got to show me love. Anyway, that was my story of the wonderful Wizard of Speak. And I'm going to introduce for you our first act. Are you ready for our first act? I can't hear you. Are you ready for our first act? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everyone in between, please put your hands together and make a huge shit ton of racket for Baba Yaga. In the tropical forests of New Guinea, one male is dedicated to making an unforgettable first impression. The six-plumed bird of paradise is cleaning his display ground. He obsessively tidies every fallen leaf. His stage must be meticulously tidy for what will be an incredible performance. Only strong, healthy and well-fed males can afford the time and effort for the most meticulous preparation. Extravagant the male is, the more likely he will be noticed. He'll have a highly critical audience, so it's time to rehearse the main act. His dance steps perfected, he's ready to start the show for real. It's an oddly mesmerizing display.
Now it's time for his grand performance. Some noise for Baba Yaga. I'm not going on that stage until it's been cleaned. Get on it now, you little wench. <laughs> Do you want to see another drag act? We've got loads coming up. I have got a bit of news for you, though, everyone. We did have Adam all due to perform, but he's got stuck on a train because there was a power cut, so he can't be here. But you know what the good news is? There is none. It's just really crap. <laughs> like, I ate the world. Don't you? <laughs> anyway, do you want to see another drag act? All the way from down south, I think it's a place called London. Particularly North London. Anyone from London? How does it feel paying £1,500 a month rent for a box? <laughs> Move to Liverpool, it's cheaper up here. Get off me brolly. Oh, it's the wind. Put your hands together and make some noise for Dozer Cat! Dolce, why don't you introduce yourself to the mm -hmm. class? Okay? Hi, my name's Dolce with two eyes. I feel anxious when I'm high. Teachers say I talk too much. Mama say I don't talk enough. In the dark, I'm like a torch. From the hood, I hop the porch. I don't bang or slang on gang. But my dad, dad keep them things. Speak up. Speak up. Speak up. Speak. Up. Speak. Wow. Well, Doshi, why don't you tell us what you do in your spare time? I'm all alone on the deep dark web. Me and my phone in this queen size bed. I'm looking at my pillow, my pillow look back at me. My thumb is over the screen, the other is in my jeans. It took a second to soak, my fingers inside my throat. I paused and then I chose to think about it some more. Connection is moving slow, my brightness is on the low. I'm reaching for the remote, then my mama bust through the dough. I've been picturing you naked, I'm all little faded You look like a fucking painting, big doe eyes, amazing She's everything I've been praying, my heart palpitation She looks like the type to break Since we're still on the right path, I want us to stay on the right path Oh God okay. Because everyone seems like we're being sincere Everyone's being real, the empowerment, the sisterhood thing. And I just feel that there's still fakeness at this table.
they're still talking behind each other's back. Sheree, you probably are gonna be upset with me, but I don't know. Oh my God, um, excuse me? Now why am I gonna kill you? You're not gonna kill me, I don't think so, but I have a question. I'm gonna ask you, Candy. Oh God. <laughs> why is she bringing me up right now? I thought we have been getting along pretty good. Hey, Candy. Me and your girlfriend playing dress up in my house. I've just been hearing things, I wanna know. Candy, are you a lesbian? Because I've heard that, and someone at this table has what? been talking behind her back, saying she's a lesbian in the closet. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Regina George. How do I even begin to explain Regina George? Regina George is flawless. She has two Fendi purses and a silver Lexus. I hear her hair is insured for $10,000. I hear she does car commercials in Japan. Her favorite movie is Varsity Blues. One time she met John Stamos on a plane and he told her she was pretty. One time she punched me in the face. It was awesome. Mm, I ain't tryna. I ain't tryna. I ain't tryna. Make some noise for Dozer Cats! Absolutely gorgeous! Aren't they? How gorgeous are the eight girls? Have you had enough drag? What? Do you want one more? It's like pantomime, isn't it? <laughs> Do you want more drag? Alright then. Next up, we've got a bit of a local queen, but she's absolutely fan bloody tastic. But I'm only going to bring them on when you're allowed enough, all right? All right. Do you want pretentious dross? Yeah. Louder. Do you want pretentious dross? Yeah. One more time. Do you want pretentious dross? Yeah. Here she is. Whenever you're ready with the music, Louis. What do I see? That's the question I'm most afraid of. One that asks me what I'm really made of. Drink that potion. 
ocean, and you'll never grow even one day older. Madam Zap. What do I see? Much more than a reflection. Romance with sheer perfection. Is that someone? It's Madeline Ashton. She was a big star in the 60s. I thought she was dead. I see me, I see me, actress, woman, star, and lover, sister, sweetheart, slave, and mother. I see me, and I like what I see. Virgin, temptress, dream of others. Yes, it's me. We have to talk. Why don't you have another drink and go to bed? You'd like that, wouldn't you, Madeline? You'd like to see me drink myself into an early grave. That is not going to happen. My God, that is not going to happen. You are not going to take my money! Oh, what are you talking about? It was the last time you worked, Madeline. I mean, a real job. Anything you had left, you owed me a long time ago. Your face owed me. You changed your hair? <laughs> <gasps> what an eye. Don't wait up. What did you say? I called you cheap, Madeline, because that's what I think of you. Who do you think you're, you're talking cheap, to? Tacky little tramp who every week becomes less and less who do like you the woman think that I'm married are? and more and more you're like a broad. You're nothing. Yes, you are broad. You are nothing. You. you are a tragic, boozy, flaccid clown. Watch that's it, it. Flaccid. Classic. Watch what you Plastic. say, Mel. I don't have to take this anymore. Take I don't have to take this any longer. Oh, yeah, you'll take it. You'll take everything I have to give. You always have. You're not even a man anymore. And I need a man. A real man, not some drunken, broken down, flaccid undertaker who is just as dead below the waist as his clients are. <laughs> hey, I might have more fun with one of your clients. At least I'd know I'd be getting something stiff in there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think that I was just going to take it forever, Madeline? Did you? Vicious <laughs> loose. me down the stairs. Right, listen, look at that weather. It's been terrible. You've been great stood there for the last half an hour. Did you enjoy that? Listen, you're all going to be a bit cold and wet. Get yourselves inside lush. There's some coffee at the back. You can have a chat with one of us. You can get your hair and makeup done for free. What are you all stood there for? Get inside, kids. It's bloody raining. Show me a real good time I never asked for the rainbow At least I showed up You showed me nothing at all 